This is how you can set up an integration on monday.com to allow you to capture customer information and generate documents and then send them for e-signature uh, using OP sign all in one go. So I'll start with this blank board, uh, which has a number of columns that have been specifically created for this. We have a column for the NDA date. So we're generating, let's say, an NDA agreement. And then we have a column for the company name. The first thing we need to do is set up a form that the customer can fill in. So I'm going to add a new form. I'll keep it simple. I'll call it customer sign up. The name is acquired. The NDA date is not to be displayed. The company name is acquired and anything else is to be hidden. Now I have this form. I'm going to open it in an incognito window to check that it works fine. Here it is. Let's go back to the board. The second thing we need to do is we need to install Docigen. Docigen will allow us to generate documents. You can get Docigen from the marketplace. It's a couple of clicks to install. And once you install it, you can add it as a view to your board. And I will call it NDA. You can have multiple Docigen views on the same board. That allows you to maybe generate multiple types of documents from the same information on the board. I will now go to uh, the board again. And I want to create a form that will allow us to capture the document that's generated by Docigen. So I'm going to say files. I'm going to say unsigned NDA. And I will now go to my NDA Docigen view. And I'll set up a couple of settings. First of all, I want to attach the file that's generated to the NDA unsigned column. I don't want to receive an email. And let's say I want the document to be as a PDF, and I'll uncheck the docx. I can also set a default document name. So the document can, be, can have a name that's different from one document to another, depending on the information you have on the board. In this case, I want to put the company name of the person who filled in the form, which is coming from this field uh, in the NDA name. So to do that, I need to use a placeholder. Placeholders are very easy to use. If you click on that link here, it will take you directly to our support site for the placeholders page. You can also go to support.docigen.io and type in template placeholders or just placeholders. And there is a full list of supported placeholders in Docigen. The one we're looking for to be able to bring in a value from a specific column is this one, column first row and then the column label. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to say, here it is, paste it. I'm going to replace column label with the actual label of the column. So I'm going to say company name. It's okay to have spaces. Just make sure there is no space before uh, the name of the, the column and the colon here. Now I'm going to say, Comma, apostrophe S NDA, so that's going to be whatever company name uh, and then apostrophe S and NDA. We need to also specify a template for DocuGen. Now, I have a Word document here that I've set up as a template, and you will notice that I've filled in the placeholders for that template. So, for example, I'm using the column first row NDA date to fill in the agreement date. Let me show you this on the main table. It's here. It's the NDA date. I'm also using a, a placeholder called account underscore name. And if you go to the placeholders page, that account underscore name is right here, which is the name of your monday.com account. I've also used other placeholders like the username as well. So that's whoever is generating the document. And you'll notice that the placeholders have been bolted. So any formatting you apply to the placeholders will be retained when the document is generated. I've used the company name within the body of the template as well. And I used another special placeholder called uh, the column first row item. So this is a placeholder that allows you to capture the value in the very first column here. Now that my template is ready, I will make sure to save it. And then I'll go back to my doc agent view. I'll go to settings and I'll upload this template to DocuGen.
and that's it. We've set up DocuGen. We need to have a button that tells DocuGen to generate a document whenever we click it. It could be triggered by a button that you click or a status change or a date column. To do that, I have to add an integration to the board and I'll go to the integration center. I'll type DocuGen. I'll add DocuGen and then you have three integrations that DocuGen provides. One is triggered by a date column another one by status column, another one by button column. I'm going to use the button one. And as soon as it loads, I just have to specify two parameters. The first parameter is which button to use. So I'm going to add a button column on the fly. And the second parameter is which DocuGen view to use in order to get the template and the other settings. And for this, you have to type in the exact name of the view. And I remember we set it as NDA. In a, in a future release, we will be soon offering a, a dropdown that allows you to select the view name without having to type it. For now, make sure you type it exactly the same way as the DocuGen view name. I've set up the integration and I have the button column here. I'm gonna just give it a meaningful name and let's try it. So when I click it, it should generate the document and attach it to the unsigned NDA column. The very first time you use DocuGen, it might take a few seconds to get your settings up and running. And once it does that, the document will be generated. Let's check it out. Obviously the board is still empty, so the placeholders will be empty. They are empty, but the document is generated. So let's fill in some information. The first column is usually the person's name. So I'm gonna use my name, for example. The NDA date, I'll set it as today's date. Company name is, um, let's say, IBM. And I'll generate again another document which will be attached as a second file here. So let me click it. Now it should have the proper values in the document. So the agreement date is today company name of the account is Cloud Concept by myself and by IBM as represented by Sammy. Now let me make it a little bit different. So the person who's going to be signing is going to be called Will Smith. And let me generate one more time and make sure this works as intended so that we don't confuse names in the document. There we go. So the document is generated between Cloud Concept as represented by the username and IBM as represented by the customer name on the very first column. Now we've set up the first half of the integration, which allows you to generate documents using DocuGen. We now need to use OPSign to initiate the e-signature uh, part of the document lifecycle. So to do that, we have to set up a couple of columns first. We need to start with a status column that will trigger um, that will trigger OPSign. And I would say instead of done, we're going to make it ready for signature. Uh, and then instead of working on it, we're going to make it signed. So these will be used by OPSign to tell us how we're doing. We need to also add the column uh, for OP OPSign to give us the signed document. It should be a link column. And I'm going to call it signed doc. And that's all there is to it. Now, I need to obviously uh, set up OPSign. So I'm going to add as an integration OPSign. Obviously, you need to install it in your Monday account before you do so. Uh, so here it is, sent to eSign. And Docu uh, OPSign sends you multiple integrations available within the app. The one we need to use is this one here. So when the status changes to a value, send the document for signature to the recipient's email. Let me click on it. It asks me first uh, to authenticate myself with my email. It doesn't require you to create an account. It just asks you for email and then sends you a code by email 
to authenticate your identity. So we're gonna do that and I got it on my mobile here. I'm gonna type the number. I'm going to click next. I'm going to authorize OPSign to access my data. And now I'm gonna set up the integration for OPSign. So when the status changes to ready for signature, I want to send the document from the unsigned NDA file column to the recipient's email. So we need to add an email address. I'm gonna do that on the fly, an email column, and I'll select it. And then we need to place the result in the link column that we added called signed doc, and we need to change the status to signed, or if it fails, to stock. And I'm going to add this to the board. Now we have the integration ready. There's a couple of things I need to do first. This email, I need to add it to the form that the customer will fill. So let me go back to the form and let me go back to the email and make it required. And let me reload that form as if I'm the customer. So now we have an email address, that's fantastic. And now let me go back to the table. We need to do a couple of more things before this is fully active. So we need to tell monday.com that whenever there is an NDA that's been generated, to change the status ready for signature. That's an easy automation. And we're gonna do that by uh, doing it as a custom automation. So we're gonna say custom here. And it's going to be when uh, column changes and the column will be the unsigned NDA column The action will be to change a status, which is this one here, and it will be changing it to ready for signature. So in summary, what this automation will do is whenever DocuGen generates a document and puts it in the unsigned NDA column, the status will change to ready for signature. And if you remember, this is the status that will tell OPSign to initiate the uh, e-signature lifecycle. Fantastic. So. Now that we have that, I also need to make sure that we have the NDA date filled in automatically. And to do that, I'll use another automation. It's one of the standard automations we have in Monday. And that should happen upon item creation. It's going to be this one, when an item is created set the NDA date to be today's date plus zero days. And I'll add it to the board. That's it. So let me remove uh, Will Smith here. And let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna go to the form. I'm gonna say Will Smith. Company name is IBM. Email, I'll use my own personal email. And that's it. So now it should be submitted. It was submitted. So I'll click the button, click me to generate the document. The document is generated and automatically the status is ready for signature based on the automation. And then you see that automatically OPSign is processing. And it will now say document sent for signature. So let me go back to my email. Here it is. I'm, not, I'm the customer. This is my Gmail address. I'll click review and sign. In this case, I'm Will Smith. And you see the document is filled in as expected with all the placeholders. So I am going to sign it on OPSign. I'll save, I'll finish. And that's it. If I go back to my board now, it says sign document. The status has been updated to sign. And if I click on the sign document link, it will send me directly to the document that has been signed which I can download and store anywhere I want. So this is in a nutshell how we set this up without any coding or any uh, external accounts with any other application.